Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, one more option in Excel that is how to represent the column graphs, right? So uh, in the previous session, we have seen the county county fest. So there we have uh, calculated some counts related to the given percentage, and now we need to represent this one uh, visually. So by using the column chart. So why we have to choose the column chart means the column chart means visualizing the data which is related to the uh, a limited number of categories so for example so if this is a complete data so we can't give the column representation column chart for this one but we can simply uh, give the column chart for a few categories itself so for example the analysis done for this particular chart is this one right so that means the percentage we have taken some percentage and we have calculated some sort of uh, calculations that is uh, related to this percentage so the the count of students who got uh, greater than 90 the count of students who got uh, the percentage in between the 80 and 90 70 to 80 60 to 70 50 to 60 and less than 50 so we can plot the graph for this limited categories rather than the complete data right so just to select the data okay here i will give the name so this is the percentage percentage and then this one is a count okay the count number of students so i am representing the analysis of this particular students data by using the column graph so go to the insert menu so there you can find this charts so in that you can observe this is the column chart so just go move your cursor to this one then you can find the tool tip so you can study that uh, use this chart type to visualize uh, use this chart type to visualize compare values across a few categories so just click on this one so there you can observe a different options like 2d column and a 3d column so you can represent the data in one among these categories so go to the 2d column so you can observe here the rectangular bars have appeared so in the, at the bottom you can find on the x-axis you can find the percentage on the y-axis you can find the count okay and see here you can observe if you select this chart you'll be getting three options here so go to the first option plus so that means the elements to be displayed on the chart okay see for example axis so here a, lo a lot of options are there only three options have been selected that is the axis chart title and a grid lines you can observe here axis means x axis and y axis so that means this, uh, this percentage and this count if you deselect this one you can observe the axis was disabled so you can't uh, view the axis so next axis titles so we don't know actually we don't know the title of this x axis what is this greater than 90 less than 60 and all these things and also we don't know 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what's the representation of y axis then you can give the axis titles and you can find here axis title so you can edit the title with so uh, what is the title here uh, here uh, count okay student count so you can simply write the thing so student count on y axis and on the x axis you can write it has percentage range right okay so you can observe here now uh, anyone can understand this graph because x axis we are representing the percentage range and the y axis we are representing the student count so like this uh, that is the axis titles and chart title chart title you can observe here the count so you can observe if you deselect this one the title has been disappeared so if you click on this one then you can able to write the title right so count of students or simply you can go with the student performance analysis student performance analysis 
okay or uh, you can simply go with the class analysis class analysis in the class so we can go with the percentage rate and number of students count so i think we can give the chat okay you can give the chat and then the data labels you can observe here so by default it is uh, in a deselect position if you select this one you can find here the data labels in every category so 0 7 7 4 0 and 2 so by default it will be in a uh, disabled option so here you can find so you can select and here in, there is an arrow expand arrow so here you can Uh, set where the data label can be uh, appear so it is a center so automatically you can observe the changes center means the data is uh, inserted inside the is visible inside the rectangular column so inside end inside base outside end data fill out so like this we can have a lot of options so to represent the data and the data table so you, if you select this one you can observe here so if you select the data table so the data is appeared in the tabular format so earlier this table is not appeared right so if you go with this one we can get this data table format and the error bars so in order to represent the error bars you can go this one and the grid lines you can observe here for every line for on the y axis every line there will be uh, uh, lines right grid lines these are called a grid lines if you just deselect this one the chart will be plain it's a plain okay so grid lines it will be there will be a lines and a legend so legend means you can display the visibility of this particular rectangle so what is this rectangle what represents this rectangle so if you select this one you can appear you can observe the thing so this blue color represents the count blue color represents the count and if you go with this one so there is a one more expansion so where that should be displayed so right or a top or a left or a bottom so like this we can uh, select or we can decide where to display the legend like okay. trending so whether it is a uh, moving towards downwards and the growth we can simply say it's a growth okay so you can see the dotted line you can see the dotted line right so like this we can apply the different chart elements different chart elements and coming to the second option that is a uh, colors style in colors so there are different styles see you can observe different styles there is a scroll or scroll bar if you select this one so you can observe this is one style to represent the data this is one another style to represent the data this is one more style so like this we are having a lot of styles here so you, he, even here you can observe the styles at the top top most you can observe the styles right so if you select this one the style will be like this okay and also the colors you can have a different colors you can represent different colors okay you can observe the rectangular boxes have been changing with the colors so you can select the colors and styles and also you can uh, see here uh, you can fill the chart with uh, different colors so no fill or a solid fill so if you go with the solid fill you can select the color so that the chart will be fixed with a different color okay filled with different color or you can apply the gradient filters you can apply okay you can apply the pattern different pattern okay so this is a different pattern and uh, simply without no if you go with no fill so it is a transparent you can observe here so this becomes a transparent right so go with the automatic so it will be automatically it will be the background will be uh, white okay and here you can change the colors okay so like this we can select this one the fill and similarly these are the options uh, shadow option glow option so we can also apply this shadows and all these things right so like this we can apply the different styles different styles and uh, different options okay and see if you if you click on this axis so whether it may be the x axis or y axis you can select this one and double click on this one so still uh, you can get the options here so the margin options the axis options see the minimum value to start and the maximum value to end if you go with here the maximum element on the y axis it will be 10 right and the difference the major difference is 1 if you go with the, the major difference 2 you can observe here 0 2 4 6 8 10 10 right so but we have given some 1 so it will be 1 2 3 like this 
okay so like this we can have a lot of uh, options for uh, graphs labels and all these things so the majorly we can see these uh, axis options so that means we can take the minimum uh, minimum number minor number and major number and also the difference okay maximum number and minimum number and and the chart elements the chart elements what to be displayed on the chart and uh, everything and also different styles and colors right so hope you understood this one so once again i am repeating so this uh, column chart is used to represent the data visually for a fewer categories not for the complete category so it's for a fewer categories if the categories are very few uh, like this example if you take this example we are just uh, visualizing the data only for the analysis of this particular students right performance analysis so uh, let's stop here and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this uh, column chart uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much